Go Okay, so before my run, I'm gonna have a little bit of this sports hydration, like literally just a scoop, a little bit of sugar to give me a bit of a kick before my jog, and then I'll come back for my proper breakfast. Okay, so we made it to the top. There's the top, so I get my little up on them. And it's a beautiful view down there. Yeah. Whew. <sighs> so now, can you hear the kookaburras? That's when you know you're in Australia. Okay, so I'm making my breakfast smoothie, and we've got these dates. We've got Bari dates. These are Bari dates, aren't they, Holly? Yeah. Bari's. Very yummy. And this is going to be a coconut cream smoothie. And while I'm doing this, I'm watching my friend Sean from One Minute a Day. He's got a very cool channel on YouTube. You should definitely check him out. He um, uploads videos, I think, daily of just about around a one minute, one minute mark. So you get a little tidbit of inspiration every day. So check him out, One Minute a Day. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so here we have the coconut drops for the coconut cream smoothie and we have coconut sugar so it's important to have coconut sugar and the drops to make it very coconutty and look at all that water. Like That's one of the reasons that I feel consistently good is because I'm really hydrated so you gotta really put a lot of water in your smoothies. I mean it's just it's a good way to get in the water and to feel nice and fresh and energetic and feeling the best that you can feel. So I'm going to blend this up. That's about 1.7 litres of water in there. Let's get blending. Okay, let's try the coconut cream. We need a slurp. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. So coconutty and so creamy. So perfect. Mm, this is highly recommended. And there's little Fixie. We're having a bit of a sunbake out here. There's my smoothie there. And I'm in the sun. It's so good. It feels so, so good to be in the sun. Oh, bring on summer. Okay, so we have lunch just starting up here. We've got the apple pie in a glass. And I've got a bit of cinnamon drops in there. I swear I should be a rep for these people because I just use their products all the time. And no, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Just love them. And we've got mixed spice. And this mixed spice, as I've shown previously... Why would it focus? There we go. Coriander seed, cinnamon, ginger, caraway seed, nutmeg, cloves, and it's a really nice mix, like a warming spice mix. And we've got one apple. You can put one to two apples in there. And a whole bunch of water, and then we blend it up together. We blend it up. Everybody's in the pool. Time to blend. Oh, creamy, creamy goodness. Let's have a sip. Mm, it is a very, very nice mix. It really reminds me of apple pie. It does. So you can have your apple pie and feel amazing and look your best and, you know, not have to restrict your calories. I know in the past when I have apple pie, I'd be like, oh, I can't have too much. It'll make me fat. Well, not this apple pie, folks. No siree. Yum, yum. Gonna enjoy this. We're just shopping and we were really impressed to see kale chips in like a very conventional supermarket. So it's really good. I mean, yeah, the reality is that these are not going to satisfy anybody. And they're salty. And they're 100 calories for $8. 100 calories for $8 here. Here you've got, uh, here you've got about 2,700 calories. For five dollars. Yeah. So, so what are people going to choose? Hundred calories. Yeah. For eight dollars or twenty-seven hundred calories for five dollars. This could last you a whole day. It's going to last you. A bit louder, I think. It's going to last you about five minutes calorie-wise. Yeah. I think. Ten like, minutes. Ten I minutes think calories. maybe the the main good part of this could be that people get interested in the lifestyle. Yeah, but then they'll eat that guy. I don't have any energy on a vegan diet. No, but I mean, they they might find us. They might find the road to four Probably lifestyle and carb up. The wagon. Carb yeah, the fun the up. Vegan thing. I'll spend seven dollars on a packet of calories. <laughs> Get the neutral game. But it's here. better it's here than not. 
Yeah, it's better it's here than not. It is, but yeah, it's a snack. It is a snack, but it's good to see. It's good to see. But I, I, I won't these. be buying them, that's I'd for sure. Have these. I would rather have these. These seaweed crackers here. Yeah, these ones get more calories and more carbs in here. A lot of fat in yeah, there. This this is 63 little... grams of carbs per, per 100 grams, so it's a lot better. A little more fat as well, but still, it's going to give you more energy. Well, you can just avoid it all and go for yeah. seaweed crackers, which are low fat. Um, see, this is only 0.4 per sir. 1.6 per 100. Yeah. I think we have a clear winner here. End of the day. You want to carve the fuck up. So you carve the fun up, Harley. You want to carve, carve the fun up. So you've got <laughs> energy to get look after your kids, bang your partner, have energy. You want to have fucking energy, that's what you want. That's so right. You need cow chips if you want. Some but fucking energy. As long as you get some fucking serious fucking energy from it. You know? He's such a such a gutter, gutter mouth. Serious Harley. fucking energy is what you want. I'm blind in spots, don't Leave worry. Leave Mr. Nutri Green alone. You didn't break anything. Look at that. All right. Okay, so dinner's about to happen here. We've got some yummy soup that Princess Neat sent me home with. Very, very nice. This one's gonna be in the Raw Till 4 recipe book, and trust me, it is very, very good. And we have this sweet potato lasagna heating up here, and there's plenty of sweet potato in it. A whole lot of other beautiful ingredients, so this is what I'm starting with. Let's see what else we got, too. We have the chippies all chopped up. I'm gonna put them in the steamer. So as you fruit bats know, I've had a bit of fun with Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas over the last month or so, and I've been missing the love from those guys. So I tweeted them on the Twitter, which I haven't been on for a while, and Shane Dawson actually favorited my tweet, followed me, and tweeted back to me, which was a big surprise. Freely, Trisha, don't worry, bitch, we got more for you. And some of you might be like, oh my God, that's so rude, he called you a bitch. Folks, I call myself a bitch. My old label was Raw Fit Bitch, and the background of my Twitter says Raw Fit Bitch. So he is completely right, and I embrace the bitch within. So Shane, you got more? I say bring it, girlfriend, bring it. Speaking of the bitch wallpaper, it is gone. It's been reset. I've been punished by Twitter. Now I'm back to the green and white. But hey, it was my old wallpaper, so it was about time that it got changed anyway. So if you're on Twitter, make sure you come and follow me. I haven't been on Twitter for like a year, so I'm back and yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun. I still can't really work out how to use it properly, but I'm getting there. Okay, Fruit Bass, so that's the video for today. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I'll see you tomorrow.